The head office was in Hamilton then, still is, and it was a funny little place. The head office, it is in 1952, the Eileen Kemp was the executive secretary, remarkable lady. After the Barton Street East, they went to a, another old-fashioned little house in a back street, and from then to a big, fairly modern, uh, two-storey, big house, and then from there to head office. It's a strong history, and we stand on the shoulders of giants. If it wasn't for Archie, I don't know what I would have done, because uh, he sort of guided me when I became lost. Archie would come to the rescue quite often, and I really appreciated that. He, he was just great. On the other hand, Archie and I had a lot of fun too, because we would spar off at board meetings and uh, sort of get, make it at least sound that we were upset with each other. Uh, Archie and I had become good friends over a period of a year or two there, mm -hmm. and um, in, in longer term, uh, Mr. Shear became, a, again, a role model, but also a um, I guess a counselor and, and, and a friend, almost uh, in some ways a, uh, a father figure, if you like. Valerie Booth was um, our CEO at the time, and I remember her commenting at her board table once. She says, I'm really privileged to be working in this position because I work with the best in the country. Valerie uh, Booth, of course, was exceptional with that. So that was that was really rewarding to to work alongside her and uh, on the bylaws and that. And uh, it really was because of her, because of Valerie Booth. Uh, I could just tell her enthusiasm, her professionalism, and it was just like you know, I really want to work with her someday. I started off as chairman of exam panels and um, we had terrible job. You don't realise how hard it was to get questions in those days. We weren't equipped to write every question and we were inviting questions to be sent to us. Eventually we, or, we organised a group who would formulate a pattern for establishing the group, establishing how to get the questions, how we would validate the questions, and then we had that horrible problem of how do you mark the answers. First time the written exam uh, was national, you know who set the paper? Dr Lynch and I. And Dr Lynch and I marked them, which was great fun. And this, develop, this system developed into a more organised system with Alice Brown and people like that and the whole examination system, but that's how it started with Dr Lynch and I up in Sudbury setting and marking the, the written papers. And uh, we're very happy with the result as it worked over the years. The exam panels are wonderful and very hard working. <laughs>